Matt Powell ends up lying yet again about evolutionary theory and what normal, non-creationist people think. The survey said... <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at Matt Powell again because he said something really stupid. Sure enough, evolution teaches that they hitched a ride on the back of asteroids. Doesn't that sound fun? And they don't get along anyways. Squids and octopuses are constantly fighting each other, so I don't know how they made it here to begin with. What? No, this is not what evolutionary theory says. The survey said... In this first clip, Matt Powell is going to lie to you about cephalopod evolution. Squids and octopuses have a different genetic build than any other creature in the world. So they couldn't, scientists have come to the conclusion that they couldn't have come from any other sea creature. This is a lie. The survey said... <laughs> Matt Powell is lying to you. Now, Matt Powell is going to lie to you about where evolutionary theory says that cephalopods come from. So here's what evolutionary theory states about how they got here. Evolution says, or evolutionists claim, it says one plausible explanation in our view is that the genes are likely new extraterrestrial imports to Earth. These scientists declare that, quote, the squid eggs hitched a ride to Earth on the back of asteroids. That is what evolution teaches, folks. I am not kidding. I was in an interview with a friend of mine who's got it. He's an actual creation scientist. Now, him and I don't see eye to eye on everything, but he brought this up, and I thought he was joking with me. I said, are you serious? We cut for a moment. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This is what they teach? He said, yeah, that's what they, I looked it up. Sure enough, evolution teaches that they hitched a ride on the back of asteroids. Doesn't that sound fun? No serious scientist is saying this. The survey said. <laughs> It's very important when you read these journal articles to also listen to dissenting opinions about the journal articles. They most likely will point out flaws in that particular article. A lot of times that will cause the original authors to rework their paper and resubmit it. Typically this is shown on the journal articles page online. This didn't happen for this particular article. <laughs> What they definitely didn't find is a completely different genetic build than any other creature in the world. We know that the cephalopods are part of the mollusca clade, which means that they are genetically and physiologically linked to other species within this clade. And that clade is itself a derivation of a previous clade, because that's how evolution works. The survey said... <laughs> Scientists simply are not saying what he says they are saying. The survey said... <laughs> Next, Matt Powell is going to lie to you about how monkeys traveled from Africa to South America. Evolutionists also claim that monkeys, because monkeys had to have somehow gotten to South America from Africa. That's what evolutionary theory states, and, and they have a problem figuring out how. So their best conclusion that their best scientists have come up with 
is this idea that monkeys surfed across the ocean, <laughs> across the ocean to a land anew over in South America. Now that has a lot of problems. There's tides out there. You know, they probably get blown off their surf. Whoever, who has ever seen a monkey surf? I don't even think they can. Nobody says that monkeys surf from Africa to South America. The survey said. <laughs>